Hello everyone. Right, this is just a um, showcase video on what I've been doing the last week or so. And this is my little bit of a side project. Well, side project that will probably grow and grow and grow, knowing me. Um, and it's Vietnam War. And I've always had a hankering for it. Um, and actually, I was sort of pushed when... Um, Empress Miniatures bought out their new range... I was basically persuaded. Um, now, these figures are an absolute joy to paint, I have to say. And if anyone's thinking about Vietnam era, just, yeah, straight in. No messing. Um, but actually, they, I mean, I am definitely look at more of their ranges, actually. Um, but anyway, so this is what I've done. This is their first release, Batches. And I think since the last week or so, they've released another 20 figures, I think, ish. So really chuffed with these guys, really chuffed. Um, see if I can zoom in a bit. So there we go. Some real nice little touches, little details. I mean, there's the machine gunner with a toothbrush in his... Um, and he's tucked in his helmet. Lots of um, cigarette packets. Um, what's this guy? Yeah, he's got... Uh, packet of Lucky Strike. Um, also, what I like, they've got these... Um, it comes with belts, like ammo belts. So these big M60 machine gunners, They you can just add them and... Really nice, really nice. I've done a bit of, um, I don't know whether you can tell, I've tried to get a bit of helmet graffiti. Sorry, you can't really see it. It's quite, quite difficult with the light. So, yeah, and these, all the guys, really nice. Just easy to paint, an absolute joy. Um... This guy, apparently, a bit of research, a bit of asking, that thing on there, I was one, couldn't tell what it was, but apparently it's taken from a photo, which I've since found, of a GI in the war, and he's got um, a stuffed little doll thing in the back of his helmet, so they've recreated it really nice. But yeah, quite simple to paint as well. There's um, obviously a lot of greens and just off green and so it's quite difficult to highlight but I've really enjoyed it really enjoyed these and then obviously I you can't have a Vietnam War without a, a Huey so this is a 148 scale um, Italieri Huey slick which nice to paint but it's a little bit gappy in places and one thing I was careful as hell, see here, on the, I was careful as hell with the glue, and as soon as I glued it, and then I did it so I could paint behind these doors, and then, and then I glued them on, and it completely discoloured all the um, glass, which is a little bit annoying, but hey, um, it's not a problem. So, really enjoyed it, really enjoyable, I will be definitely going to get some more of their stuff more of the vietnam vietnam war range um and i reckon go and have a look really nice stuff really nice but um anyway just thought i'd share that with you hope everyone's all right and um all their projects going well well and i'll speak to you all soon bye